What's happening now is we're going to Mablethorpe and Mablethorpe is where my nan had a caravan up until about four years ago when she sold it. Now I spent almost every single one of my birthdays up until about 16th or 17th birthday in Mablethorpe. Uh, so now that I'm 21 we're going back and we're going to go see how everything's changed. Welcome to Mabel's Hall Chalet Park on this trip down memory lane for Brandon's 21st birthday. We're reminiscing. This is the place he was brought up as a baby. It's a very, a very park. We brought him back 21 years later to reminisce of his childhood days. Hi everybody. Well, I brought Brandon here for 16 years onto this same Chalet Park. And he hadn't been back here since he was 16, so we thought for his 21st birthday we would back, bring him back here so that he can look at everything that he did when he was little and do it again. We're here now after a four year lapse. We'd love to be back again. Things have changed, but it's still memories to us. It's nice to see Brandon grown up. I also remember his first birthday here. Yeah, all crawling around now, peeling taters. I drop taters in my tea. I'll never forget that as long as I live. Some memories to remember by it. Hope you have a great week. Thank you. Well, here we are again. The wanderers return. We're back to give Brandon his 21st birthday. See if it's any different from his first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and the rest of them. The first night that we were there, we went to a couple of the old places where we used to go out and somehow they acquired hair. Oh, oh. Can you never remember what happened last night? <laughs> <laughs> the next day I bought some like velcro catch things, like the you know, like the whatever. You throw you throw them, you catch the velcro thing and catch them. So me and Dave we played outside the caravan with them for about, I don't know, about two minutes before we broke them. Um, so we modified them and managed to get a bit more playtime out of them, but from them breaking and us modifying them, we somehow managed to create a new game. The stance. No, no, no. Oh yes! Ah, he's got it on there! Uh, I suppose I should give you this now. Right action shot with that. That's one out of two rings. Oh, that was a lovely action shot. Lovely action shot from me. Oh. No. A wood ring out of two. That's a great start to this main event. Then we went to a pub that had karaoke, because karaoke is one of Dave's favourite things to do. Oh. 
The next day we had a trip to a neighbouring like town, village town, something small. Uh, it's called Skegness, and this is where my nan would used to, would take me when I was a lot younger, and she would drag me around all the charity shops. It's not a fun memory actually. There was no fun involved at all in that. Um, also, while we were there, is there's like a little small shopping complex, and Dave decided to headbutt the jeweler's window for some reason, um, uh, and then my nan took the Mickey out of him and was saying he needs to go to Specsavers, and then instantly did the exact same thing. Reminisced very well. We've had shoplifting, we've had plenty of beer, we've had mayhem, laughs. Shoplifting is top of my priority. <laughs> Shoplifting occurred when Brandon was very young. We went round the market, cut the story short, went round the market. My mother, who professes that she's so innocent, decided to pinch a top from a shop. No, that's not true. I must have defended your mum. You've got to go to her bag. Go to her bag. Yeah, tell the truth. Just like she did this afternoon. Just this, like, well, yeah. history don't repeat itself. No, no, no. She went in a shop this afternoon and got another top, top up on her <laughs> bag. Up to her bag, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got yeah. a great procedure. Right, now we've got fingers pay up for trial here. that for the for the majority of your interview. <laughs> well I can, not, I can honestly say I've had a right good time until today. Some person that's drunk on gin, mentioning no names, has been carrying on all day and some fat <laughs> put the blouse put the blouse on my back. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> We've never laughed as much in all my life. <laughs> Besides you. <laughs> Poor old love, she gets accused of all sorts. <laughs> I said I married into this family. <laughs> didn't know the circumstances at the time. I didn't know I had a thief. Didn't a liar. You know what I mean? Didn't know. I was didn't know what I was getting myself into. And a gin soak. And a gin soak. <laughs> Just got coffee for a now. <laughs> No, but you all as used to do it wrong for 16 years. So we're just getting a little the tape! Call the tape! No! Call the tape! No! You were one that used to cause all the trouble. Now it's us three! Please. If there's anybody out there, can you help me? Can you help me get out of this situation I'm in? I'm surrounded by cases. Being a good holiday, the, the lousy taxi firm here, they won't even have to on. Well, we tried to get out, but some bleeding idiot that's got a, supposed to be a taxi firm wouldn't even come. They slapped phone down on us. That's how good they are. <laughs> <laughs> Out, love. I'd just like to say that I'm glad that I'm the only sane one that's here. So if you've heard if you've heard anything tonight on this camera, just please believe everything that I have said because this lot here, rogues, thieves, liars, little child, non-behaviors. I'm 21. No, non-pickup taxi drivers. <laughs> I'm the honest one. I can't take anymore! <laughs> I've had enough! <laughs> <laughs>
Jamen, vi er god til aften, du er endelig tår, og hvordan du får gørt stammen i Tenny Lunge. <laughs> well, we've come back for Brownlands 21st. We were supposed to be reminiscing. And it looks like we've turned the tables. We used to carry Brandon home. Now Brandon's carrying us home. So you didn't want to get your toes wet, did you, walking over wet grass? No, no. So what did we try to do? Put me on your back. I tried to give you a piggyback, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. This is what happened. Yeah. Come on, get on my back. <laughs> Come on, mate, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> so inevitably, I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me get on your back. Come on, I'm on your back. Come on, get up. It's all right. It's all right. You ready? There we go. I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used to carry Brandon home, and now he's carrying us home. This is how it used to be. Yikes, Shaggy! <laughs> <laughs> Do not drop me on this glass table. I swear to God, you drop me on this glass table. It's like some out comedy. The next day, we went to a very, very, very small town. And when I say very, very small town, I mean that there's literally like one or two bars, a couple of shops, and two arcades. Uh, we went in one of the arcades and they had like two alleyways of bowling so we decided to play bowling just to pass some time But you come, you come first. Yeah. Granddad comes second. You come third. I come. Four. And you <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. Yeah. Oh, but there are no losers today. <laughs> We're all winners. We're all winners. Winners because we've had fun. After that, we visited uh, the Donkey Sanctuary. Now we used to go to the Donkey Sanctuary all the time when I was younger, because um, it's real cool. Uh, it's where they take all of the um, like ill-treated donkeys and they rescue them and they let them roam free in these fields. But because it's a sanctuary, it's uh, like you need to donate money to it, and that's the only way that they survive. So they have shops on on the actual farm and stuff like that, where you can go and you can buy food, you can buy stuff and whatnot. But you can also donate like 50p, and they give you a bucket of carrots so you can feed the donkeys. And when I was a kid, I used to think that was like the most amazing thing in the world, and I kind of still do. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's called Radcliffe Donkey Sanctuary, and we went there and fed the donkeys again. Then there was just some very, like just other little nice bits and bats that actually happened while we were um, while we were there. Uh, we went to a bingo night um, in the Remingtons Club, which is where I used to go when I was younger. I used to get in a lot of trouble in the kids' room there. Uh, then my nan would drag me back into the room, into like the main room where they'd be playing bingo all night. And it's still not one of my fondest memories. It's a horrible memory. I was sitting there all the way through them playing bingo where you could hear a pin drop in the room. Uh, so we went for one of those nights and I sat there in silence with my mum and Dave while they played bingo. So all of that, what you've just seen, is what happened on our trip back to Mablethorpe for my 21st birthday. Uh, we saw how a lot of things have changed. We had a lot of fun while we were there. Um, I'm pretty sure we can never go back there. 
ever again. There's at least three warrants out for a finger's fear. Um, and our accomplice, Mr. David Lee, trying to rob a jeweler's. Maybe this video shouldn't be made.